just start by saying that we brought the book to Adam. We, um, he had a horror, Adam had a horror film and horror television background as part of a vast array of things he's produced. And um, we thought it would be sort of an interesting collaboration and longtime friendship, obviously. And um, so we developed the project together. Um, Mark and I had the idea to do portrait of a serial killer as a young boy and then discovered the graphic novel, which was better than any fictionalized version we could do. I was always a fan and supportive of the work that she and Mark were doing. They weren't my type of things, because I had worked on a show called uh, Masters of Horror, and I'd worked with guys like John Carpenter, John Landis, Toby Hooper, and made a variety of things, but they were largely more in the action, bad Bruce Willis movies, bad and Diesel movie. They were just more in the action, <laughs> in the action horror space. So more of the bad genre. Bad. And so when they when they exposed me to this book, I thought it was the greatest thing I'd ever read. I absolutely loved it. I mean, I grew up. I grew up in a, in high school. There was a major serial killer in Philadelphia, where I lived, uh, basically in a suburb of, and that really shaped my uh, my childhood fascination of serial killers. So this was this was pretty interesting to me. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer is infamous in the States, and we were both, I think, just entering high school, yeah. probably around the time that he was arrested. So it was definitely on the news and in the, you know, general sort of cultural like you couldn't, ether. I mean, you couldn't get away from him. Right. You know, he was he was tabloid news before tabloid news really was a thing. You know. That were, that said, I didn't have any sort of like interest in him in any sort of meaningful way before we sort of discovered this graphic novel. Nor had I even read much about him in the last 20 years. It wasn't something, I mean, it was a name more than anything else. It's right. a boogeyman. It's the development of a, of a child into this man, and that's interesting to me. Um, and it's a, it's a character study of a fascinating figure. And so from that perspective, I found it to be a unique story to tell. In Hollywood, you're always saying it's Die Hard on a Boat, or it's this movie meets that movie. This movie, it doesn't, there's nothing else like it that anybody's ever done. Nobody, it, I, if you can challenge, cha I, mean, no, no, I don't know if you've seen the movie, no, no. but feel free to challenge me. I don't know that you've ever seen a coming of age story where you know the tragic conclusion of it. <laughs> We filmed in Jeffrey Dahmer's actual childhood home, which lended a further sort of element of authenticity um, to the story's telling. Mark really, 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 really insisted that we shoot at the Dahmer house and that we shoot in Akron, Ohio. And when you're making a movie like this at a low budget, it's really easy to start trying to do it somewhere else where it's going to be easy and more affordable. And I think it was that decision to do it in Akron and to shoot in Ohio that was the key to the authenticity and the, uh, a lot of the success of the film. Shooting a movie like this in Ohio, and I was really strangely uh, surprised in a positive way how supportive the community was. I thought we were gonna have real trouble. I thought this was that we were gonna be unearthing a problem that nobody wanted to take a look at. And in truth, it was, it was exactly the opposite. People were really supportive, and a lot of the extras in the film, especially when we were shooting the high school scenes, their parents had grown up and went to high school with Jeffrey and these other guys, and they all said they were all so complimentary about how real and authentic it seemed, and they had nice little stories about this group of guys. Well, we are doing a sequel where he gets superpowers. Uh, we are not. We yes. are not doing my, that sequel. My, my super friend Dahmer. We, yeah. that, that does not exist. <laughs>